Oh, both of them call. Wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, okay. Okay. I'm not going to get tilted if I'm wrong this time. Not going to do it. All right. What is he? Hope you're feeling strong and good today. Fights yesterday were sick. Second really good card in a row. The second one where the ref seemed totally fine with letting a dude get beat to death in the ring. Truer words never been said, man. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Shame on that corner. Shame on Smith's corner. And I know Anthony Smith is probably going to come out with a, you know, uh, what do you call it? A statement defending his corner, saying, don't get mad at my corner. But that doesn't take away from the fact that his corner was 100% in the wrong for not calling that fight and looking out for the safety of their fighter. It was just such an, a, a blatant and obvious spot to stop the fight early. If the ref wasn't going to do it, the corner needs to do it because Smith, Smith was done. I mean, it looked like he was done after the second round, you know? So it's a real, it's a real shame, real shame. But yeah, from the few fights that I did see, it was a, it was a good fight. It was a good card. I uh, actually slept, I took a nap and slept through most of the card, but I caught the last few fights. It was good stuff. I'm a big fan of Smith though. There's no denying the amount of heart he's got. He's got mad, mad heart. You know, he just, uh, he just didn't look like he wanted to be there. Unfortunately, Anthony Smith looked like he didn't want to be there. There's something going on in his head. Can you remember the first time you played online? And what made you want to? I do remember the first time I played online. Well, I don't remember the exact first time, but I remember the feeling of the first time. Um, so yeah, I've always been a poker fan. And, you know, I like in high school, I had a like a bi-weekly home game with a bunch of my close friends, $5, $10 sit and go type of thing. And we had our good fun. Um, you know, watched Rounders. Rounders is like one of my favorite movies. So I just wanted to play poker and I knew online poker was around, but I thought I'd get in trouble. I was underage, so I didn't play. So by the time I was 19, I had a credit card and I was like, well, let's give this a shot. And I was hooked, hooked, like badly hooked, like really badly hooked. Like I was playing it at work. I was playing it while hanging out with my girlfriend. I was playing it, you know, with when I was hanging out at my friend's place, it like affected my mood negatively. All these, all these things, all these things. And I was about 19 at the time and I maxed out my credit card continuously making $50 deposits. I'd deposit 50 bucks, play, go broke over and over again to the point that I maxed out my credit card. My parents found out, of course, they had a big hissy fit. My mom was like crying. I remember my mom crying. I felt pretty awful and I stopped playing for a while, paid off the credit card bill. But yeah, that was, that's, that's, that's what I remember from my first little instance of trying out online poker. Had a bad relationship with poker for a pretty long time. Happy to say that that's not the case now, but man, it took uh, it took a lot of it took a lot of pain to get to where I'm at now. And um, I guess what I mean is, if a person wanted to be successful in poker in this current space, you don't have to go through what I went through to be successful at poker. You know, I I I, I learned I went the hard way. So I was too impulsive. I was too impatient. I was too undisciplined and uh, too like unself-aware and just kept chasing it. You know. And uh, you know, what 19 year old is self-reflective and patient and stuff, right? Obviously, but even if I had just been smart enough to go, all right, I'm gonna throw a hundred bucks on here and I'm gonna play one cent, two cent or one cent sit and goes and just learn the game instead of trying to make money and chasing some kind of high of a big score, just learn the game and gotten involved with the communities, you know, the two plus two community, gotten a coach, tried the training site, learned about, you know, how to use PT4 effectively and just took my time, I wouldn't have gone through the level of strife that I had experienced. And I, I might have a bigger role today, or um, I might be a, a properly well-established professional or whatever, you know? That's kind of more what I'm saying. I went through a lot of pain, you know? I sacrificed relationships, you know? Lost a couple of girlfriends, lost a couple of friends, almost got kicked out of my house a couple of times, different things like that, just because of poker, right? That's, it's not worth it. If, if you're going to those lengths to try and be successful at poker, it's not worth it. It really isn't. But at the same time, you don't have to do those things to be successful at poker. You don't have to sacrifice a relationship with, you know, a girlfriend that you care about or sacrifice a relationship with a friend that you care about or whatever, right? You just have to be self-aware of your impulses and your time and your discipline and find some level of balance. I mean, a lot of people say that you, there is no balance in, to become a successful poker player, and that's true, but you can find some kind of balance 
so that all of those things stay healthy. That's more or less what I'm saying. It's weird to think about how life might be if I had never streamed. I would never have left my job. And I just wonder how my life would be right now. Yeah, there's always a what if, right? I think no matter what kind of situation you're in, whether you're in a good one or a bad one, there's always a little bit of a what if. There's, there's this grass is greener on the other side kind of mentality where you're just like, if I had stayed at that job with that cute girl who I'm pretty sure had a crush on me, what would my life be like right now? <laughs> you know, I, don't, I think we all question that at some point or another. My biggest issue with streaming is uh, despite the community and like the community vibe that the Twitch, overall Twitch community is, has a good job of doing, and imparting. Um, it's kind of a lonely job, kind of a lonely job, man, you know? So sometimes I go like, man, if I just had like that normal day job, that nine to five where I'm seeing people every day and there's staff dinners and Christmas parties and all that stuff, would I enjoy my life a little bit better? I don't know what the answer to that question is really, but I do, I do think about it from time to time. Not saying that I don't like my life, you know, I think a lot of people would kill to have the life that I have, but it is something that just crosses my mind, that's all. I'm obviously very grateful for the situation I'm currently in. And I and I remind myself of that constantly. Oh my God, dude. I don't think I can fold here. Thank God. All right, we won another 530 ticket. Nice. So I have three 530 tickets to use for WPT and there's only a few more days left of it. So let's hopefully find something decent. I'm sure we will. Good stuff. Bounty Hunter tournament seems long. If anything, they're faster than normal tournaments because uh, people are getting it in a lot lighter to chase bounties, right? Three, seven month resub from Mitchter. Thank you very much, bro. Cheers, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, both of them call, wow. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, okay. Okay, I'm not going to get tilted if I'm wrong this time. Not gonna do it, all right? I'm not gonna get tilted if I'm wrong this time. Results wise, we're wrong or we're right. They're both morons though. I don't know what the fuck they're going for there. But that was ridiculous. What a silly spot to fold, to have to fold. Oh my God, we did it. Someone punted or got coolered, one of the two, but we did it. We made the money with two big blinds. <laughs> don't you love it? Just being a big nit, managing to get in the money. That's pretty ridiculous. So either someone punted or someone got mega coolered. Either way, we're grateful for them. 1.8 big lines and we get in the money. All right, get this in. Uh, I, 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 I must have mistagged this dude. There's just no way this is actually greenstone. Nice. Essentially drawing dead on the turn. He's drawing to one out. Now look at us from two bigs to 20 after the money bubble burst. Crazy. Weird spot here. He bets half. I call with the flush draw and he jams the turn. We're ahead now of all of his flush draws. And then if he has a queen, we still have outs to an eight, a 10 or a heart. I think I'm just going to go for it. He referred the deuce on me, lol. Um, yeah. Bink. Damn, that was like worst case scenario for us is that he's got top pair with the, with the with the heart, but I don't think we get away from that spot. Worst case scenario turned into just a total absolute cooler. Um, do I feel a little embarrassed about it? A little bit. Do I think it's a reasonable call by me? I do. Cause he can just as likely show up with like ace king with a heart there, you know, like very, very, very easily. Ace X with, with a heart basically, like an ace of hearts is just always gonna take that line nine times out of 10. I shouldn't say nine times out of 10. I'm just making an example. Just so happened that he had probably the worst hand we want to see when we call a shove there. 
I said Team Pro. Eh, I deserve that. We're we're uh, seeing some pretty some pretty pretty hands here. Hello, Diddy. Hello, Ben. All right, well, this is a pretty standard shove. Hold, please. Hold. Nice, GG. That's a nice size pot to win. Can you believe it? Two big blinds when we get in the money. And now I got 50 bigs. We've grinded our way up. That deserves some merit. Good check race here. This would actually be a sweet check race spot. When you get a dog, you can have the pet, a pet, the dog command for channel points. Another guy I sub has a pet, the cat for five, 5k channel points. I love that dude. That's a great idea. That's a really, really good idea. Oh my God, I have to do it, dude. I, I can't help myself. And then when he shoves, I'm gonna feel really embarrassed because then I have to call. Well, let's hope for the best, shall we? You go ahead and fold your King X with no club, please. Thank you. You gotta commit sometimes, you know? Really bad river for me to bluff, but I don't give a fuck. Got a bounty in here. That was a good hand. I rarely three bet this hand, but I'm gonna go for it with a dead big blind. Having him covered is pretty huge too. It's gonna be really hard for me to wanna fold this though when he's got this big of a bounty. He's still gonna, yeah, this is lame. Lame as fuck actually, but I'm gonna YOLO this, I think. Let me just do the math. Yeah, yeah, we have to call this for sure. Hold, please. Hold. Noosh. Lucky me, I don't get his bounty, but I get the big bounty, so that's cool. Um. Now oh, we'll call. We three bit last time. We can we can kind of go either or on that one. Ooh, interesting. God, with him, with him in the big blind, I can't, I can't like, I don't want to blow up this pot too crazy here. This might be an issue as well. We have a tough spot if he shoves this. <sighs> Fuck. Well, we can take ace queen out of his range. I don't think ace queen really barrels this this turn. I suppose he blocks queen jack, but we block ace queen, we block queen jack. He still has kings. We block aces. He wouldn't make this line with sixes. He would probably just see about the flop. So what do we beat here? Like ace king, king 10. We beat king jack takes this line sometimes. Tens doesn't do this. Sevens through nines doesn't do this. We admit, we block the busted flush draws too. Do we have any notes on him? Just that he's a small stakes reg. So he's probably under bluffing this river. I wonder if we have the same hand even. Yeah, that's a tough spot, man. I'm gonna be thinking about that one for, for a minute. I'm gonna be thinking about that one for a minute. That was a tough one. That was a tough spot. I might be overfolding there if I fold that hand. It's a little little brutal. He should be just like squeezing almost almost everything that he wants to call with, but well, that's not true. That's not entirely true. Oh, we're gonna do this again, huh? Okay. A little bit different. Sack depths are a little different. This time though, we don't block missed draws. Well, I guess queen 10 and jack 10, but <laughs> so fucking stupid, dude. What a dumb spot. Like what's with all these dudes calling behind me, man? It makes it actually like so difficult for me to have to call this off. Like two two spots where like, we're just totally fucked. <sighs> oh man, I want to call it off this time. Mostly because now like he's actually got more missed draws in this spot and we blocked the nuts. All right, nice hand. Oh, what a tilting day. I'm not tilted at him, I'm tilted I made the call. That's what I'm tilted about. The fact that I even fell for like such, an, such a like mediocre play, you know? Like, that's on me, dude. That's 100% on me. It's very frustrating. Like I played so well up until that point and then I just like decided to just go punt it off. But I know for a fact that he's only gonna value bet that river when he played it the exact same way the hand before. Cause he's going, oh, well I played it this way last hand. He'll probably call lighter this time around. It's like, dude, like I know better than that. I'm a better poker player than him, you know? And I let, I, I like, I let him own me there. It's just like, un, it's unacceptable.
Oh, uh, yeah, this is a really, really easy squeeze shot for me. It's a great steal spot. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, lucky me. Hold, please. Nice. Lucky ducky. I still like my shot. I mean, it's a very, very standard, very reasonable jam. You just happen to have one of his better hands. Generally, we get the folds there. Stacks of cash, money flying around your apartment like one of those scrap a dollar hurricane machines. That's still like fun. It's interesting with, with poker. I don't really think about the money, at least these days. I'm thinking about plugging my leaks. I think about my BB Pro 100, you know? Those are the kinds of things I'm thinking about. Um, did it wrong. It's okay. It's somewhere around here anyway. Mm, it's kind of shitty, but it's better than a 10 or an 8 or a jack. So, I'll give it a shot. Oh. oh. Cold. Cold. Hello. Big blind special. Not so special. Not so special. I take it back. Not special at all. Dude, we need to win that. We can't be winning that this this late in a satellite like this. Dude, not special at all, bro. Top seat. Top seat. Oh my god, we're getting check raised into. I wanna I'm gonna I wanna click it back against him. Just cause he clicked it back on me. Let's blow up this motherfucker. I'm gonna call. There's really no river that hurts me in my opinion. Like even a six or four. I I don't I don't care too too much about. Quads is good. Quads is real good. Oh my god. You give me your bounty. Don't you dare fold your extra your four big blinds. I give you the respect of not slow rolling you here. Give me the respect of giving me my bounty. Yes. Yes. That's what I like to see. What did he have? What did he have? Let's see here. Let's see what he had first. He had ace nine of hearts. Fun. Oh man, I bluffed somebody and he had quads. He checked flop, bet, bet turn, and then barreled river. And I just decided to rip into him because I've got way more queen x once he checks flop. He fucking had quads. That's fine. I think my play is fine. We can get him to fold so much shit there. So, including ace highs that we tie against. It's been a long time since I've cashed that 55 gladiator. I always end up hunting it somehow. All right, I'm also calling it a day. Down to my last three tables that aren't even out of late ridge. So that's a GG for me. All right, chat. Thank you for hanging out. Have a good night.